So I've let this contraption sit all night. Uh, it was working yesterday after I filled it with um, this rod. It's not actually supposed to be in there. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to plug it in and hope it still uh, doesn't have any leaks. And for safety, I have made sure it's excuse me, grounded. I've noticed that if I run that fan in the background over the uh, condenser, it gets, uh, it cools it down too much that I think it freezes um, the compressor up. Unfortunately, since I, I don't have any copper tubing that is the right diameter for the, um, what is this, the, uh, where it goes from gas to liquid, the evaporator. Yeah, I don't have any, so I had to use this, um, blue tubing, which holds 300 PSI, which is great, because, um, once all the pressure has equalized on the high side and low side after it's been unplugged, it seems to, uh, I think it sits around 40 or 50 PSI which is perfectly uh, within the margins. Um, I'm pretty sure, I, 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 ha I have no idea what the uh, bubbling is I see in here. I mean, I know there's liquid flowing, but I see sometimes I see extreme amounts of bubbling inside. Maybe it's just normal. Now this gets hot to the, t like burning hot here. Here it's a little bit more um, you, you can hold it without burning your fingers, but, um, unfortunately, since my, uh, I have to, the, I have to not cool it down because I don't want the, uh, cool side, the, uh, evaporator side getting so cold it freezes up when it re reaches back into the compressor. And the compressor runs cold to the touch. It's a little bit slightly room temperature at the top, but underneath it's cold. And I can already see frosting on the um, copper parts I have made. So I, um, this is the uh, hot side. I'm just going to use that. It's easier than remembering all the correct words. And um, it does get a little bigger through here, but it doesn't actually cause any issues. Um, it comes here, and then this is where it goes into this tiny pipe, which is kind of serves as what, um, I stole this, this is the, um, oh, what is that, the, uh, the, the cap, a capillary tubing from a small mini fridge, and, um, goes all the way into this, where it expands, this, this part is from a, uh, mini fridge too, let me say this and this are from a gigantic fridge, um, th this weighs so much I can barely lift it up. I had to mount it to this piece of wood, otherwise it just, like, it would, f it was way too flimsy moving it around. So I, uh, I left this intact. This is the, um, uh, the condenser. Um, so yeah, it flows into this, and through this tubing, and then it gets recycled. And right here, is um, this part right here is where it's, I, I'm assuming it's dripping down right here. This part gets really cold. Um, it also actually frosts here sometimes. This is really hot right now, to be expected. Um, actually not as hot as it could be. I've got a tap here. This is my low side tap there, and this is my high side tap. Um, they're both closed right now. I've also got meters, but these meters leak. Like, um, they leak really slowly, but because it doesn't cause any uh, issues, check, like if I just want to check something, but um, for uh, extended operations or for just leaving it, yeah, I definitely disconnect it. What's um, one one very useful tip is uh, when you're checking the high side and low side. When you're done, um, close the high side tap if you're using these taps, like uh, shut it, and then this will still read a, uh, read pressure, but you can uh, open it all the way and open the low side too, and the um, low side of the compressor will suck out all the uh, uh, refrigerant and pressure from the high side to the low side and basically vacuum out your lines. That way you're not wasting any refrigerant. And then you close both, um, and then you can close that and disconnect all the uh, tubing. But yeah, that's basically it. You can see my um, 
lines are starting to frost up. Um, I've got them s s uh, stuck in a uh, a uh, chamber. A, a, what is this? A glass vase of uh, alcohol, and uh, I used a mixture of this 70% alcohol and this. 91% uh, alcohol. So I mean, it, and there's also some water in it. So it's it's at least 50%. I did that just to reduce the uh, freezing point because, as you can see, um, this is the uh, ambient temperature, and this is the uh, this thing I the sensor I stuck in there. Of course, this meter, the battery hasn't been replaced in 10 years, so <laughs> take that with a grain of salt. But it, it is quite cold to the touch, and this will start condensating. I can also feel like coldness just in near putting my hand nearby. So uh, that about wraps it up. This compressor's been great. I uh, went to a uh, place that uh, recycles fridges, and I just asked if I could uh, they uh, if I could steal a compressor from one of their or take take a compressor from one of their old uh, fridges that they weren't going to fix. I paid like 20 bucks and they let me take a lot of stuff from that fridge. I uh, even got the uh, evaporator coils, except I broke those after a while. Um, I just, I wanted to uh, cut it in half and issues, they were made, it was made of aluminum, so it didn't really fare too well when I tried, uh, uh, it just melted when I tried uh, heating it up with a blower torch to like uh, add pipes and whatnot. But, um, so far, this, uh, air compressor tubing, which I got from Walmart from, like, ten bucks, for ten bucks for 25 feet, has worked fairly well. The temperature has dropped to 27, and, well, that's my video.